All right, let's draw the line. I'm going to draw it before the circles because I want it to appear underneath the circles. So that, of course, should be also attached to the inner group. I can start by giving it an attribute of, of a stroke attribute here of black. I'll stack this. And now uh, I have to worry about the, where the, the line begins and where it ends. And so each one of those two points needs an X and a Y. Now I don't have to worry about putting the Y coordinates in because they're just going to be zero, right? So here's the center, right? The, the Y coordinate here for this circle is zero and zero here. So it's, always, it's assumed to be zero if you leave it out. So I don't have to worry about that. I just need an X1 and I need an X2. So for the x1, I can make it the x-coordinate of this circle, which is minus 100. And this one can be positive 100. And there it is. OK. Now if we want to rotate that, I can just come up to the inner group put a transform attribute on that and make it a rotation. And of course I could also scale there as well. So you can use the, this inner group for rotation and scaling and the outer one for translation. And there's the line and the circles. Okay. So I think that should end our, our section on D3 because now I think we're really set to, to start to do some interesting things. Those are the absolute basics. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next playlist, but it should be cool.